Hey guys, I'm welcome to Tony May Ross's Worms Revolution playthrough. What a game. Who remembers playing Worms as a child? Oh dear. Okay, you battle-hardened soil dweller. Are you listening carefully? No. We've infiltrated the enemy's base and we're sending you in. Keep pushing the enemy lines and, when you reach this chap, destroy him with gusto. may contain useful weaponry. Do not nod if you understand. the gate. That's put the sausage in the salad or salad all right. All right, okay. Do something. The item you just found could prove helpful in a tricky situation. Uh huh. An uncrossable gap. That's a tricky situation. Yes, it is. Well done. 
but I don't reckon they'll be making a movie about it. Time to set your calculated carnage levels to max output. I used to go to school with a max output, but he's dead now. Says it all. Greetings, Baha, Woof, Eeyore, and Hong Kong. Let's go single player. Nature is wisdom. I once locked a bear, a lion, and an elephant in a room to learn this wisdom. It was carnage. But you can learn so much at the training camp. You face eight missions in the sewer. Apply the knowledge, turn those worms into small, skinny sleeping bags. Okay. When I first encountered these amazingly intelligent and highly evolved worms, my initial thoughts were, what's the best way to kill them? Any wildlife documentary maker worth his salt should be able to take down any endangered species with nothing more than a biro, an elastic band, and a briefcase full of explosives. Now, you can experience hardcore, full-on, worm-to-worm combat at grassroots level. But this isn't just about fighting. It's about observing nature, collecting wildlife data, cross-referencing, Actually, it's about fighting. Get stuck in. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, then. Know your environment. Familiarize your ocular pods with every inch of the terrain. Except that little bit there, that's nothing. Your first kill, it's like crisps. You can't have just one. Clear this area of worms. One day away from retirement. Sad for him, but visually pleasing. Next target, please. Sir, yes, sir. Oh dear. Move it. This is my last gun. Remember, we're here only to observe and document worm activity and blow some up. Choose the grenade. Fire in the hole! 
with that, mate. This door feels a bit thin. <laughs> a wildlife filmmaker can't get attached to the animals he records. So let's blow another one up to remain impartial. Him. Okay, sir. With wildlife filming, you need dynamic shots to hold the viewer's attention. Try an airstrike on that worm there. First wildlife campaign completed. Okay, you killed all the wildlife, but we did get some great shots, and that's what's important. It's what's always important. Winners! Let's okay, so we'll do this mission. Providing it's not a hard one. I have in my hand a piece of paper. On it, in crayon, is written, It's war. How cool is that? Yes, it's time for the second training session. Not only will you learn how to kill worms with advanced movement and weaponry such as mine. Jump. Another hostile worm. Unbelievable. Do something. Huh. Okay, look at that oil drum. Is it just landscape? In its current state, yes. If you blow it up, no. Then it becomes Mount Killiwam Jaro, spewing forth molten napalm in more directions than you can shake a spleen at. Hmm. All right. Huh. 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 
Last of the hostiles, and last of his family tree if all goes well. deserve a medal for your work here today, but you're not getting one. Why am I not getting one? I want one. I want one. So, uh... Yeah. I think I'm gonna call it there for today. Um... So, uh... I would like to say thank you for uh, watching this uh, video, so uh, thank you, and uh, remember guys, when things get hard, stay awesome. <laughs>